bum, bum, da 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 bum, bum, da. Hey guys! Howdy! What's up and welcome back or to The Romy's Digest. My name's Christine. I'm Mo. And today we are meeting up with a booktube slash bookstagram icon, <laughs> Miss Erin from The Borrowed List. Wow, you took that over for me. Oh, I'm it's so fine. sorry. Uh, well, go ahead. Do you want to? No. No? Okay. Anyway, Erin is moving at the end of september so we were like we have to hang out because we all are in la um so this is the free weekend that we all have and we're gonna meet up at the ripped bodice which is so fun because you guys if you follow us on instagram you know that i was kind of talking about this because of the heart principle and the whole helen wang um author event author event and also our friend another booktube slash bookstagram friend of ours just got a job here so we're gonna go check out the space because this is iconic it's a romance bookstore monique's gonna have a good time today i am i mean i will too but really this is monique's time to shine I so know. i would I'm, think i'm a i'm envisioning a sad bank account next week <laughs> but you know i get paid eventually <laughs> that's it's my a tangled web we weave the price we pay mm. anyway okay see you guys later Like something I do. That does, it um, does. Fake marriage, but make it fashion. Ooh, a fake marriage. Oh, that okay. sounds good. Yeah. Now you know that's gonna be the ones that you don't want. <laughs> that size. Come on, Monique. <laughs> he's, like, he's looking to marry a respectable English woman. Good thing he's so terrible at this plan. Oh my god, that's a Victorian. You do not want to pick it up. <laughs> Jeez. They both said they never fall in love but they are both so bad at this we love the fake marriage one i feel like would be i know i'm like mm, i don't know if i could take two chances though mm. blindfolded sex contracts are a bad idea we think that's 50 shades right oh yeah <laughs> i don't know it could be anything <laughs> you open it up it's neon dots. <laughs> you're like okay i never um, i think Maybe i'm gonna go with this one i feel let me just... Don't you just hate when an evil goddess kills your brother and you have to go on an epic revenge quest? Okay. okay. Then I'm gonna... Or do you want to? No, I'm gonna do the trap nut a little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh my God. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Wait, which one did you pick? I got a fun date idea. The murder one. <laughs> match. Look at that. We're insane. We're all... <laughs> da, 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 da. Yeah, it's really annoying. 
This one's so fun. There's sprinkles. So we are on a blind date with these bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, this is the one I picked again. Okay, it says what? Fun date idea. Solve his parents' murder? What? Sounds like you're a cup of tea. Literally. Okay, so mine says, great way to mess up your life. Get trapped on a boat with a princess who once broke your heart. I am hoping it is the freaking pirate dream of our life. <laughs> okay, and then mine says, don't you just hate when an evil goddess kills your brother and you have to go on an epic revenge quest? I am hoping this is not Neon Gods because I haven't read that book yet. <laughs> okay, you want to go first? Sure. Since I'm holding it? I will. <sighs> okay, thank God it's not Neon Gods. <laughs> Nora Roberts. <laughs> actually be good though is, is this like scottish what is this okay as the storm rages and the tale begins of a powerful vampire's lust for destruction and, a, and of the circle of six charged by the goddess morrigan to stop her one of the chosen is a medieval sorcerer whose quest will take him through the time and into the arms of a woman courageous enough to link her destiny to his own morrigan's cross beautiful okay not what i was expecting but I'm excited for Miss Nora Roberts. I've never read Nora Roberts, so let me be the one to tell you if it's good or not. <laughs> you go. You're in a very nice, like, angelic halo light. You're looking really good. Yes, when this vlog comes out, you'll see. <laughs> okay, here we go. What could it be, everybody? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Is it linen? The princess stage. Is there linen on the cover? Oh. Oh my god. I know I'm gonna get linen on the cover. What does it say, Erin? Okay, Princess Sarani Rao is on the run in her best disguise. She stows away on the next British ship out of India, but her secret won't be safe for long. As the port fades in her wake, Sarah takes her first salty breath of relief when a handsome old flame discovers her. Okay. okay. So it is so it maybe. Is, yeah, Captain Stan Huntley wants to help the woman who broke his heart. Oh my god, it sounds fun. Okay, I so need like to know. <laughs> Fiction. <laughs> All right, I'm dying. Okay, so they did give us some interesting choices. Oh. It's gonna be Dublin murders, but like it's romance gonna, I edition. I know it's gonna be a linen cover. Okay. Oh, pink. That's a good sign. Let me see. All right, I'm gonna be reading. The Viscount made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. This is all your favorite things. It's got silk dress, <laughs> a cute little lady and a man. I knew it. Diana Quincy. Do you think a it's a pen name? A that can ruin everything. An attraction that cannot be denied. Hannah Zayden has come has fought to become London's finest bone setter, but her appealing new patient threatens to destroy everything she's worked for. With each appointment, the daughter of foreign merchants is slowly seduced by a mysterious former soldier. She's smart enough to know Griff is after more than he'll reveal. But whatever it is, the bone setter's strong desire for the man just might tempt her to give it to him. Rumors that he murdered his own parents have followed Jesus, this the this freaking house. thing. Practically since he was a boy, more than a decade after the tragedy, Chris receives a tip about his parents' killer. And um, pretty much they're going to get together, I assume. And we, one would hope after all that. <laughs> this is literally why I <laughs> just kidding. I'm excited. Yay! All of our books together. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm literally dying. Flip the back. Did you flip it? Flip yes. the back. Oh, Miss Nora, Miss Nora. You know, we might be friends. We might be friends after this book. <laughs> hey, guys. So we didn't just get the blind dates, okay? We also got some really other, well. Some I, really other good books. Some really other great books <laughs> from the Rip Bodice. Okay, yes. So here we go. I'm just so excited. I don't think we explained, but The Rip Bodice is strictly romance. It is the only romance, like pure romance book 
um, store on the West Coast. Oh, the whole coast? Yep. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Oh, just California. Yep. So, which is, I guess, half the West Coast. Which is half the West Coast. So, guys, it was such a fun time. I hope that the vlog footage comes out because the whole inside of that story is so cute. It's very cute. It's it's like independent, women owned, queer owned. Um, also, it's so nice in there because you can see the categories of what type of romance you want. Yeah, it's very organized. Right. So if you want a fantasy romance, if you want a contemporary, if you want LGBTQ, like you know, if you want graphic novel, use books, children, children's new, new adult. Fantasy. The ones that you hate. The satin dress ones. Yeah, the linen. I don't know what category that's called. I think it's mainly historical, historical romance. Fix. Yeah, historical romance, but... Anyway, so we're just going to go through the books that we got real quick. We obviously met up with our friend Erin, and that was so fun because she is moving, um, you know, away from L.A. So we were like, we have to meet up at least once mm -hmm. before you go. And we have very similar life paths, so that was really fun. Yeah, it was great. Um, great get to know you yeah it was to good, know good to know you about you <laughs> getting to know you <laughs> getting to know anyway so guys you know that we opened up our like uh date with a book enough said on that <clears throat> the next one that i got was pride and prejudice like this little baby is a cute copy of miss pmp y'all know that i love pride and prejudice i have multiple copies i wouldn't say that i'm the type of person that collects multiple copies because i don't actually have that many all my copies are just really old so i was like it would be nice to have a new one and this one's cute but didn't you already get a new one no Oh, I did get that illustrated one. I yes. Was like, I'm pretty, pretty that one is a collector's item. So that means you collect them at this point. Okay. If you were going to throw away your paperback. I've you... been exposed. I think everyone who's been following us this far, you've talked a lot about Pride and Prejudice. Well, yeah. And if you That's guys, why. you guys know what Pride and Prejudice is about. Okay. It's like the ultimate female empowerment. We love somebody who is, you know, really, really prideful, really, really prejudiced. And then in the end realizes... That they might have been wrong. You know? Mm -hmm. The ultimate hate to love story. Our OG hate to love right here. Anyway. So that's the first book that I got. Okay. And the next book that I got is 40 Love. This is by Olivia Dade. Who wrote Spoiler Alert. And y'all know if you saw our NetGalley reading list from our September TBR. That I'm going to be reading All the Feels. Which is the second book in the Spoiler Alert series. Um, this is... This is has nothing to do with that series, but it's by Olivia Dade. I really like her writing, and as far as I can tell, this has some kind of, like, tennis court romance or something. I've seen it on romance uh, lists, and so I'm really excited. It's just a cute book, too. I'm like, oh my gosh, so cute, and then there's, like, a bra on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. Mm. Mm. There's a bra on a bathing suit I top. think it is. It looks like a bathing suit top. Oh, never mind. It says bikini top. The back says, when a rogue wave strips Tess Dunn of her bikini top, desperate half-naked times calls for desperate, please cover me, kids are coming closer measures. Enter Lucas Carlson, a.k.a. the flirty Swede in the water nearby. I'm not going to go over the rest of it. Someone but... else I know read this recently. It was probably Amanda. And I was like, I need to read this. It's cute. I'm like, it's either Amanda, Carson, or Caroline. I don't or know. Jess. And there's, like, so many options. I really love Spoiler Alert. Like, it was so much fun. I think All the Feels is going to be so cute, too. So I'm excited for this guy. Nice. And then besides the other book that you've already seen us get, I got Don't Forget About Me by Mahari McFarlane. And I'm hearing that it's great. Like, the literally, the lady at the <laughs> register was like, this is so good. Oh, my gosh. So I was like, yes. I'm so excited to read this. It's pretty much a second chance romance. And you guys know. So you got a wreck from the store owner or the store. The employee. Okay. Yes. Um, cool. That's so and good. And they said it was good. I think they know we're here. Okay. So Georgina, the main character Georgina just got fired from her restaurant job. She hated already, assuming. Then she goes home and she figures out that her boyfriend has somebody else in the bed. Oh my gosh. So it's just an extra horrible day where she lost her job and obviously her relationship. It's not a second chance romance with that dude, is it? I hope not. Oh my god, yours is Lucas? Mine is Lucas too. Lucas? Lucas McCarthy. Mine's oh. Lucas Carlson. That's what we should switch after. Oh my god. So then she goes and takes the job 
the next job that she finds, which is a bartender at a new pub. Only there's one problem. The pub owner is ran by the guy she was in love with years ago. And make that two problems. He doesn't remember her Ooh, that sucks. at all. Like, doesn't even remember the human being. <laughs> like, so... There is nothing more embarrassing than that in the world. When you're like, hey, remember? We were friends. Yeah. So... And they're like, nah, don't know who you are. And then obviously, apparently, he's the guy is more mature now. It's now brooding, you know, runs a thriving business, and it's just a lot of secrets are going to be revealed. He's doing his thing. So that's what this is. Don't you forget about me. Don't you forget about me. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, and last but not least is a graphic novel. I got mooncakes. I got it. I got it. Look at her. So cute. Uh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so it was in between Mooncakes and Pumpkinhead. But Pumpkinhead, I think, because, uh, you know, Rainbow Rowell is a little more popular, I think Pumpkinhead's is easier to get. Whereas Mooncakes, I've been trying to find, and it just so happened that they had this copy. So I got it also because it's about to be spooky season, and I'm preparing for that. And also this has, like, more of a fantasy, like, storyline because you've got your witch, your werewolf, and possibly a cute little love um moment so i'm really excited for this graphic novel because i've been wanting to read a couple of graphic novels recently but have not had a chance to go out and buy any so i'm excited because this one's so cute i've heard nothing but good things Moon it cakes. looks really cute it is it's so cute oh look and it's got a little black cat oh. maybe i'll read that for my book club i make one day oh baking book club that'd be so good yeah you could have some recs you could be like these are the books i'm starting with <laughs> all you have to do is read a book with this theme <laughs> cookies anyway okay so that's it guys that is the end of our day our yes. book haul yes it was such a fun time going to rip Potters for the first time <laughs> honestly i'm like whenever... i didn't even mean to rhyme <laughs> but i do it all, all the, the time, time. <laughs> Yep, it's like cat, mat, saddle, you know, that kind of thing. I think whenever I want a good romance book and I want to support an independent bookshop, The Ripped Bodice is where I'm going to go. Yeah, it was great. It was so it's much just fun. A has it's just such a hassle to get there. I'm right. I'm going to be honest. From where we live. Yes, but once you get there, you get there, it's a nice time. But it was good for a special occasion. Yes. Okay, so we're going to end this vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Comment down below any fun bookshops that remind you of The Ripped Bodice. Maybe you've got like a romance bookshop near you. Um, or Monique a and I. Specialty store. Yeah, or a specialty store, something like that. Monique and I like to travel a lot, so we do take your, rest, your recommendations and put them in a Google spreadsheet. So when we go to all these different places, we will look up you know what's in that area so please if you guys have any recommendations give those to us and until next time we will see you on the Rimmy Stages Rimmy Stages that's right. an old one oldie yeah, but a goodie echo, yeah. okay bye, bye.